Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be looking at the Heart Box Scotland October box. This has been a fun, neat box for me to do every month that's something different. It's a little bit more lifestyle, but it's nice having a box that comes from a different country and have products that are made from that country. It is a lifestyle box with items made in Scotland. It's 35 pounds. But in American money, it's about $54 after you have the conversion rate, after the taxes, after the shipping, which still puts it at about a decent price box compared to other lifestyle boxes that are monthly in the US. Let's see what we got for the October box. Ah, I love the fall leaves that they have on their product card. It looks like the theme this month is fall for Scotland. A summer comes to an end. What better way to step into a new season than with a new heart box? This month, we're celebrating all things autumn with our fall heart box. Autumn is one of our favorite times of the year in our wee country, a season bursting full of color and the most beautiful scenery in the world, which I believe, I believe they definitely have probably some of the most beautiful scenery ever. This is our recipe card and it says, I don't know what it says, four far Britties. I'm almost certain I'm not saying that right. Britties are said to have been invented by a forefar baker in the 1850s. There are two tales of where the name originates, one being from the fact the pies were frequently served at weddings, and another being from Margaret Britty of Glamis, who apparently sold them at the butter market in Forfar. Apparently it is a type of pie. I want to say it's a savory pie though because the very first ingredient is a rump steak or minced beef. So definitely a savory pie. I've never had a savory pie. I've never even had chicken pot pie. I've kind of always been against savory pies in the past, but as I've gotten older, I would like to venture more into what a savory pie tastes like. Have you had a savory pie? This one is going to have steak, beef stock, butter, onion, salt, pepper, Obviously, you're gonna have your pastry, a little bit of mustard powder, and milk and egg for brushing. Oh, so not a lot of vegetables in this one. It's almost like it's just meat, onion, butter, and pastry dough. Usually in a meat pie, I would think that there'd be some kind of mix of vegetables, like with a chicken pot pie, there's usually like peas, carrots, other stuff that I don't know would be in a chicken pot pie, but definitely an interesting recipe to throw in my mix. I don't know when I'm gonna get to it. I have to be when I'm brave enough to try it, but I will keep it around for the future. Oh, next up, let's get some food. Yes. <gasps> Tonic's Real Chocolate Caramel Wafer Biscuits, which means they're cookies. Biscuits means cookies in Europe. <gasps> I love these. I love caramel. I love chocolate. I love cookies. I bet these are gonna be great. Every snack that I've tried out of the heart box has been absolutely delicious. And there's so many in here, like these wafer bars seems like they're really, really big. And it has a four pack. Founded by Thomas Tunnock in 1890, Tunnock's are a world famous bakers based in Uddingston, just outside of Glasgow. We hope you love your Tunnock's caramel wafer. Five layers of wafer, four layers of caramel, fully coated in real milk chocolate. These really are a wee taste sensation. And I bet you that they're made with better ingredients considering that they're made in a different country. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the things that America allows to go in our food is just unreal compared to other countries. They're a lot more strict on stuff like that. I cannot wait to try these. One more day. I have one more day left on my cleanse. In fact, I'm on my last day. Next item, it looks like a little wallet in someone's tartan colors, probably. Feels a little bit like wool on the outside. Just a pretty standard inside, no hidden pockets. I don't know if this is more of a coin purse. It's actually kind of big, so you might could just throw in a card, driver's license, some money, just a quick little wallet to go. A tartan coin purse, the perfect addition to your winter wardrobe. So it is a coin purse, but you could probably use it for more than just coins because it's actually pretty big for a coin purse. And this looks like it matches it with the same tartan colors. Oh, and they're gloves. How fun. Not received gloves yet during this fall and winter season yet. This is my first time. I wonder how well they fit. 
nope, it goes this way. Oh, they're nice and warm on the inside. Like, I don't know what material this is. This maybe is cotton, because it definitely feels softer, the black part of it. And this part is the same wooly texture of the coin purse. But this is really nice. Like my hand is really nice and warm in here. And the glove fits me very, very well. I will add this to my collection. I don't have a lot of gloves. In Texas, it doesn't always get like so cold outside you need to have gloves, but I do like having them just in case because usually in January, February is when we get our coldest months, they will come in handy, especially like when I'm driving and I need to keep my hands warm. Something different for this box too, because I don't think I've received gloves from them before or a wallet. Corey in and keep warm this fall with these beautiful tartan gloves. They will keep your hands toasty warm this fall. The perfect addition to your wardrobe and we reminder of our beautiful country. Our gloves are touch screen enabled and stretch so one size fits all. That's cool. I wonder if that's why it has this little design on the pointer finger that is this the index finger. They have a little design here and at first I thought that it was just a mistake for it to be there. But now I'm wondering if they did this design on purpose so that you could still touch your screen. Actually, I'm gonna go with my right hand because I'm more dominant with my right. I don't know if you could see that little flower design on the finger. Okay, it does take more pressing, but I was able to unlock my phone with my glove on, which is good to know. Man, they are nice and warm. Like <laughs> My hands feel so warm just being in them just for a little bit. Okay, the next thing is a Scottish Fine Soaps Heather Soap. There's a lot going on on this lid. Like, I'll just pop a picture. And it does have a soap inside. Oh, it's a pretty color. I was not expecting to see this little pink color for a little soap, how cute. It's been a while since I've seen a soap bar in Heartbox. I have received one before, and I'm glad that we don't get them all the time. That was one thing I was really getting tired of in the Celebrate States box, was like every month we got a soap bar. It's like, I don't go through all these soap bars, dudes. Please come up with something new to put in your box besides a soap bar. But since it's been a while since I've seen a soap bar in Heartbox, I'm okay that it's come around again, because anyone who's just now subscribing they may want a chance to get a soap bar from Scotland. So it's nice to see it recycle every now and then, just not too repetitively. Be transported to our purple filled Heather Hills with our luxury Heather soap from Scottish Fine Soaps packaged in a contemporary metal tin and infused with the traditional Scottish Heather scent. Extra moisturizing, it leaves skin gloriously soft and nourished which is good. One more thing in the box. The don't know what this is. I'm just gonna open it up. It almost looks like a makeup tube. Oh, wow. What is this? This is nice, whatever it is. It's a beautiful keepsake, the perfect addition to any whiskey lover's collection. A glass whiskey water dropper with whiskey glass top from Glencairn Crystal. This water dropper allows a finer control of the amount of water you add into your whiskey, a wee drop at a time. Did you know that adding water enables you to smell and taste the rich aromas of your whiskey even better? I did not know that. I do have a set of whiskey glasses, so I might store this with it somewhere. I didn't even know something like this existed because I'm not a heavy drinker. That was it for this month's heart box. We have another fine collection of items, gloves, coin purse, delicious treat, delicious recipe, hopefully delicious recipe, a bar of soap and a cute little metal tin, and then this whiskey water dropper. Never heard of such a thing, never seen such a thing, but that's part of the great thing about getting subscriptions is you get all kinds of things you never knew existed or things you never knew you needed. Let me know what you thought of this month's heart box down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.